there are some strategy that used to answer TOEFL question in listening comprehension. The first strategy is listen for empathic expression of surprise. We must know the empathic expression of surprise here uh, and we should become familiar with them. When surprise is expressed, expressed it implies that the speaker didn't expect something to be true. The second strategy is listen for wishes. The important idea in listen for wishes here is uh, we must know uh, that <coughs> the wishes is that a wish implies that the opposite of the wish is true. So, if we want to answer the question, uh, we must know or we must underline the wish in each short conversation. So, after that, uh, we must know the opposite uh, of the wishes. For example, in this conversation, the man said, Do you think we'll be able to have the picnic today? And the woman said, I wish the sky will we're not so cloudy so we must know uh, the opposite of the sky weren't so cloudy so the answer is c the sky is too cloudy it is the opposite uh, of the wishes of the woman for the exercise 14 and exercise 15 it is same strategy with the previous slide it is about listen for wishes so in answer the question we must know the opposite of the wishes that said by the speaker the third strategy is listen for two and three part verbs this verb are expression that include a verb and one or more particle such as in, on, or at. The particle change the meaning of the verb. We must remember in this strategy is uh, the best answer is one that is related to the meaning of the two and three part verb and might uh, not seem to be related to the meaning of the verb without the particle we must pay attention to the two and three part verbs for example in this conversation the man said did you have your history exam today and the woman said no the professor put it off for put it off for another week so the woman mean is uh, we must attention to the two and three part uh, put it for another week so uh, the answer is b the professor cancelled it the fourth strategy is listen for idioms idioms are special expression in a language that all speaker of the language now the speci- the special expression describe one situation in life but are applied to many different areas of life in answer the question we must remember uh, that the best answer is one that might not seem to be related to the idiom in the second line for example in this conversation the man said I have to take advanced biology from Professor Stanton next semester. And the woman said, don't worry about it. It's a piece of cake. So, uh, the idiom uh, for a piece of cake is uh, easy. So, the answer is D. The course is easy. Okay, the listening part B question. Part B of the listening comprehension section of the twofold test 
that consists of two long conversation, each followed by a number of questions. Then, you will hear the conversation and the question on the recording that are not written in your textbook. And next, you must choose the best answer to each question from the four choice that are written in your textbook. For the example, number one, on the recording you hear, narrator, who is the man? So, in your textbook you read, for the choice, that are A. A professor, B. An office worker, C. Professor Dalton's assistant, and for D. A student. There are some strategies for the listening part B question. For the first strategies, if you have time, preview the answer to the listening part B question. While you are looking at the answer, you should try to do the following. Anticipate the topics of the conversation you will hear. Then, anticipate the question for each group of answer. The second strategy is, listen carefully to the first line of the conversation. The first line of the conversation often contains the main idea, subject, or topic of the conversation. And you will often be asked to answer such question. Next, as you listen to the conversation, draw conclusion about the situation of the conversation. Who is talking? When the conversation takes place or when it takes place, you will often be asked to make sure inferences about the conversation. Then, as you listen the conversation, follow along with the answer in your text in your textbook and try to determine the correct answer. Detailed questions are generally answered in order in the conversation and the answer often sound the same as what is said in the recording program. The fifth strategy is you should guess even if you are not sure. Never leave any answer blank. And the last strategy is use many remaining time to look ahead at the answer the question to the question that follow. Next before listening, we have to do anticipate the topic. It means that you should therefore try to anticipate the topics you will be hearing. For the example, in exercise 18, you can take a look on your book and for the question, what is the topic of the conversation for question 1 through 5? Then the answer, looking for a job on campus. You can guess this because of the following clues. Work on campus, employment office, student, and also jobs. Then, Anticipate the question. Anticipate the question. It is very helpful to your ability to answer individual questions in listening part B. If you can anticipate what the question will be and listen specifically for the answer to this question. For the example, in your textbook, you read A. In the airport, B. In the library, C. In the dormitory, and for D in the travel agent office. You try to anticipate the question. Where does the conversation probably take place? So, in this example, you can be quite certain that one of the question will be about where the conversation take place. Since you are sure that this is one of the question, you can listen carefully for clues that will give you the answer. These examples show that a helpful strategy is therefore to look briefly 
add the answer in the test book before you actually hear the conversation in the recording program and try to determine the question that you will be asked to answer. Next, determine the topic. You should thinking about the topic or subject or main idea for each question. As you listen to each conversation in listening part B, it is you should be thinking about the topic or subject or main idea for each conversation. Since the first one or two sentences generally give the topic, you should be asking yourself what the topic is while you are listening carefully to the first part of the conversation. For example, on the recording, you hear. For the man, you can't believe what I just got. Woman, I bet you got that new car you have always wanted. Man, now, how in the world did you figure that out? Then you think the topic of the conversation is the new car that the man just got. Next, draw conclusion about who, what, when and where you should be trying to set the situation in your mind you should be thinking the following thoughts who is talking when does the conversation probably take place where does the conversation probably take place what is the source of information for the conversation for the example on the recording you hear man why do you have so many books woman i need them for my paper on george washington do you know how i can check them up man yes you should go downstairs to the circulation desk and fill out a card for each book then you think who is probably talking to student where are they in the library and what course are they discussing american history it is about draw conclusion about who what when and also where glass listen for answer in order There are two possible methods to use while you listen to a conversation in the listening part B of the tuple test. For the first method, you can just listen to the conversation and ignore the answer. You can follow along with the answer while you listen. Some students prefer to just listen to the conversation while it is being spoken. And if that method works well for you, then that is what you should do. Other students find that they can answer more questions correctly if they read along with the answer while the conversation is being spoken, because the detailed questions are answered in order. It is possible to read along while you listen to the conversation in the recording program. Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, now I would like to explain about the strategies and uh, the reason why I choose one of the answer Okay, for the first for two well review exercise in this exercise, while you are listening to the conversation, you should the following the first listen for the topic in the first line, the second draw conclusions about the situations, 
and then the last listen for the answer in order when i'm listening um i'm focused to the listen for the topic in the first line and in the first line i hear that speaker said about lecture so i choose c for number one okay in this slide this is about the strategies of listening part c question actually i have read the book and there is no question but i just explain the strategies of part c uh, especially listening part c question okay um if you have a time just preview the answer the listening part c question and after that you can listen carefully to the first line of the talk next as you listen to the talk draw conclusion about the situation of the talk for example like who when where and what and then you should guess even if you are not sure and last use any remaining time to look ahead at the answers to the question that follow okay for skill 23 or exercise 23 in this slide the strategies is about anticipate the topics it is very helpful to your overall comprehension if you know what topic to expect in listening part C. For example, are the talks about American history or literature or some aspect of school life? A helpful strategy is therefore to look briefly at the answers in the test book before you actually hear the talks on the recording and try to determine the topics of the talks that you will hear so uh, from this instruction or this strategy um, i look at the answers to the five questions together first and after that um, I try to anticipate the topic of the talk for those five questions. And finally, I determine what the topic is. And then I get the point or uh, I get the point about this topic. And then the topic is about Hawaiian volcanoes. okay for exercise 24 the strategy is study the following answers and try to determine what the question will be you should note that perhaps you will only be able to predict part of a question rather than the complete question if you cannot predict the question in short period of time then move on to the next group of answers uh, for the exercise 24, the explanations of this strategy is You can look the answers first And then you can try to determine what the question will be Or the other strategies You can predict the question in a short period of time Okay, uh, for the question number two, the answer is once a week, two times a week, three times a week, and for 15 hours. So, I think uh, if we look for the answer, we can conclude that the question is about time. So, we can write the question what time the talk probably take place okay for scale 25 the strategies is about determine the topic 
As you listen to each talk in listening part C, you should be thinking about the topic, subject, or main idea for the talk. Since the first sentence is generally a topic sentence, you should be asking yourself what the topic is while you are listening carefully to the first part of the talk. So in these strategies, um, I hear what the speaker told first until the end and after that, I asking by myself what the topic is while I'm listening carefully to the first part of the talk. And then for exercise 25, for number one, what is the topic of talk one? I answer that the topic of talk one is about library can help you for graduate. Okay, for scale 26, the strategies is about draw conclusions about who, what, when, and where. As you listen to each talk in listening part C, you should be trying to set the situation in your mind as you did in listening part B. You should be thinking the following thoughts. Who is talking? When does the talk probably take place? Where does the talk probably take place? What course is the talk concerned with? And what is the source of information for the talk? And for exercise 26, um, I have heard about the talk of the speaker and I get the answer that the first who is prob probably talking Miss Mark, where does the talk probably take place? In library. When what course is being discussed is about business department. Okay, for the next the strategies is about listen for answers in order. If you read the answers to the second question while you listening to the talk, you can determine that answers A, C, D are true, answer B is not true. The fire did not begin in the summer, it began in October which is in the autumn, therefore answer B is the best answer to the question which of the following is not true about the great Chichalbo fire? Um, what I explained before is the examples how to answer the questions. So I use these strategies too. I try to read the answer first. And I think that the best answer is C on the first day of class. Okay, for the last is Duval review exercise, scale 23 until 27. Okay, in these strategies, while you are listening to the talks, you should do the following. Listen for the topic in the first sentence. Draw conclusions about the situations, who, what, when, and where, and then listen for the answers in order. I use the strategies for the first. Uh, I read the answer, and then I hear what the speaker told, and after that, um, I determine for the answer and then I get the point and I get the answer that number one the answer is graduate business students